Top 10 Chinese historical dramas to be watched in 2024. The Rise of Nian Kyu Me Love Me are worth a look, but only this one has a perfect score with zero negative reviews. The historical dramas for the second half of 2024 might not be as hot as Joy of Life and the double from the first half, but there are still plenty worth watching. Recently, after the finale of Love of Nirvana, three new historical dramas were released The Rise of Nian, Kill Me, Love Me, and Snowy Night, Timeless Love, each with its own highlights. Here are 10 must watch historical dramas for second half of 2024 that are great for being watching. Love of Nirvana and Are You the One have lingering plots, but only the 10th one has a perfect score with zero negative reviews. Number 1. Chang Wan Yen Ren Min in The Rise of Nian. The Rise of Nian is often described as a lower quality version of the story of Nian Lan. Both are domestic battle dramas, but if you approach A Rise of Nian with the same expectations as Nian Lan, you might feel let down. The script and production quality of Rise of Nian just don't match up, and the villains are pretty dim witted, which takes away from the satisfaction of the conflicts. Still, Domestic battle dramas are a popular genre, and the rise of new stories with its fast-paced storyline, so many of the plot holes are easy to overlook while watching. The rise of new tells the story of Lu Ji Ning, a young lady from a Lu family who grew up in a separate residence. Displaced by how people treat third brother Lu Xin Yuan, she repeatedly sent a hunt, gradually discovering that he, despite his seemingly down-and-out appearance, is actually talented in both literature and martial arts. Having been hurt in love, Lu Jining is determined not to be trapped in the mansion any longer. She aspires to start her own business and achieve independence, all while her feelings for Lu Xin Zhuan begin to deepen. Number 2. Liu Xiaoyi and Wu Qin Yan in Kill Me Love Me The costume drama Kill Me Love Me just premiered and like Wu Qin Yan's The Double, it focuses on a fast-paced revenge storyline. The plot is melodramatic and intense, with no unnecessary fluff. In the first episode, Wu Jin Yan and Liu Xuyi already have a neck wrap kiss, and though the plot is wide, it's packed with tension. However, viewers generally think that the devil has a better grasp on pacing, while Kill Me Love Me isn't as captivating to binge watch episode to episode. That said, it's still gotten decent reviews. The director of Kill Me Love Me has a great eye for aesthetic and makes both Liu Xuyi and Wu Jin Yan look fantastic, plus the storyline has its unique twist. Kill Me Love Me tells the story of Prince Mu Rongqing, who leads the Wei Bei army to reclaim lost territory of in Qingzhou. After his fair Taurus entry into the city, a massive fire suddenly breaks out. Rumors spread that Mu Rongqing ordered the burning and slaughtering of the city, leading to his reputation being ruined. Meanwhile, a young girl named Maiden loses her loved ones in the fire and vows to take revenge on the culprit behind the massacre. Eventually, Maylin joins the secret organization becomes an assassin, facing her first assassination mission to kill her enemy, Wu Rongqing. Number 3. Li Jin and Cheng Chunxi in Snowy Night Timeless Love Snowy Night Timeless Love is one of the more mellow historical dramas to come out recently. It doesn't have a big flashy plot twist that draw viewers in like The Rise of Nia or Kill Me Love Me, so it requires a bit more patience to watch. This series is a martial arts drama that doesn't follow the sweet or romantic route. Instead, it's filled with bittersweet tragedy. With my appeal to fans of heart-wrenching stories, Li Jin looks gorgeous in her period costume, and Cheng Shunxi carries a strong martial arts vibe as well. Snowy Night Thomas Love tells the story of the three spirited swordsman Huo Chang Bai, who seeks medicine for a friend's son and meets a herbalist who masters Xiu Yu Ye. Over eight years, as they spend each day together, they go from having their own obsessions to deepening their block bond, redeeming each other, and making a promise to drink together under the plum tree the following year. However, because of the responsibilities they each carry, they find it hard to express their feelings for one another, ultimately leaving behind a scene of regrets as they are separated by fate. Number 4. Ren Xiaolun and Li Lani in Love of Nirvana Love of Nirvana has gained attention thanks to historical drama hard drop Ren Chia Lun. Although it hasn't reached the highs of his previous works like Under the Power and One and Only, the chemistry between Ren Chia Lun and Li Landi feels a bit lacking, making it hard for viewers to ship them. 
However, the plot has actually received decent reviews. It focuses on ancient power struggles, with the male leads using tricks and schemes against each other, and the intense romance has a strong impact. With a Doban rating of 6.8, it's a solid prairie drama. Love of Nirvana follows Xiao Wu Xia, the young lord of Yue Lu City, who goes undercover at Wei Chao and has been hiding in the Liang Kingdom for years. Wei Chao tries to uncover the truth about his family's past by attempting to abduct the only survivor of the Qi Wang incident, but his plan is watched by a girl named Jiang Qi. Taking advantage of the situation, Pei Yan brings the injured Jiang Qi into his home, and the three of them get caught up in a complicated love triangle filled with heartache. Number 5. Chang Wan Yan Chang Yu Ran in Are You The One? In the second half of the year, Chang Wan Yi has been busy with three historical dramas, the second season of Lost You Forever, The Rise of Ning and Are You The One? Among them, Record of the Willow Boat have received the highest praise. The production quality is really good and the character designs are fresh. It tells the story of an amnesiac female bandit who mistakenly thinks a cunning prince is her husband, leading to a romance that starts with a marriage of convenience. Are You The One has a different pride from Chang Wan Yi, recently popular. The Rise of Nian, while the Rise of Nian focuses on intense palace intrigue with a faster pace, I Yu The One has a more gentle and flowing style. The early pace might feel a bit slow, but many viewers have praised that it gets better and better at its progresses, with high half quality production that really captures traditional Chinese aesthetic. Number 6. Tian Chen Chen Chou Yira in Go East. If you are tired of usual historical romance drama, you might want to check out Tian Chen Chen's Go East. It's a light-hearted ancient detective comedy that combines mystery solving with diplomacy. Set in an ancient diplomatic institution called the Four Directions Hotel, the story follows various heroes in a small world who are driven by the ideas and bravely pursue justice for the country and people. Go East is an ensemble drama with well-rounded characters that are quite vivid. However, the mystery plot is pretty average and doesn't have the same kindness and excitement as strange tales of Tang Dynasty. In comparison, many fans actually enjoy the daily interactions among the main cast more, and the chemistry is really charming. Number 7 Number 7. Tiang Yu Si and Tang An Si in Melody of Golden Age. The historical dramatic comedy Melody of Golden Age is definitely worth watching. It's a sweet and charming series with a detective angle, featuring elements like marriage by substitution and love after marriage. The mystery aspect is just okay, but the couple's chemistry is really enjoyable. Tian Yu Si pull off the cool and aloof ancient boss without looking awkward. And Tang Si may not be super famous, but she has a cute and sweet look in her period costumes. The two of them make a great pair. The romance in Melody of Golden Age is super sweet, with the list solving mysteries while soaring each other with affection. There also is a plot with the second male and female is featuring a big bad wolf falling for a little while rapid dynamic, which makes for some intense drama. The pacing is smooth, so it never feels long or boring. The story follows Yan Qiang, a concubine's daughter from the Yan family, who has a knack for solving cases. She gets accepted into the Ministry of Justice to become a female official. But when her third sister runs away from her wedding, Yan Xing has to step in and marry the chief of the imperial guard Shen Tu. Number 8. Hani Qi Yi and Fang Chi Lun in the Love in the Desert the historical drama Love in the Desert isn't a big budget production, and while the quality is just average, it makes up for us with a past paced storyline and great casting. The female Litani Kiyi is just as stunning as Nura Bardi Murat and Wu Naya, all hailing from Xinjiang, and her exhausting ancient costume in the show are absolutely beautiful. The male lead Fang Yi Lun play Yu Shi Shan in a journey to love last year, and both of them have great looks. The chemistry between the main and supporting couples is surprisingly good making it quite enjoyable to watch. Love in the Desert features a rebellious black lotus flower and a love-hate relationship with three powerful men and women and three men. It tells the story of the most beautiful woman in the desert, Princess Huang Pei Shuang, from a fallen clan, who on her way to marriage alliance crosses paths with three influential men, Wu Kun Jun, the lord of the northern territories. Ru Wen, a fierce bandit from the desert, and the lord of Yunpei city. She finds herself caught in the struggle to unify the desert alongside these powerful figures. Number 9. He Xiang Lin and Li Fei in Down is Breaking. 
The short drama Dawn is Breaking focuses on a why forced love story. It follows the noble woman Xia Wanjin, who witnesses a brutal hunt on the day she is supposed to marry the crown prince. The national master Dong Fang Chu kills the current national father-in-law, and Xia Wanjin becomes his target. Due to his scheme, the wedding between Xia Wanjin and the crown prince takes a shocking turn. However, Dong Fang Chu doesn't want to silence her. Instead, he uses Xia's entire family as leverage to force her to become a national master's wife. Dawn's Breaking tells the story of a white national master who forcefully takes the bride for the crown prince. The plot is super engaging, strong female lead. Strong male lead is a bit cliched, but people just love this kind of vibe. Plus, Dong Fang Chu seems like a crazy guy on the surface, but he actually got a soft side when it comes to love. The main characters are always outsmarting each other, and even though the dialogue can be cringy, it's totally addictive. The female lead Ke Chuan Li played the second female lead Quan Kui in the story Love, while the male lead Li Fei has previously starred in the short drama The Deliberations of Love. He's especially good at playing these dark, crazy characters. Number 10. Yang Su Wen Yang Chi Kang's Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty 2 to the West. Of course, I'm definitely keeping up with Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty 2 to the West. Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty has been super well received in the second half of the year, starting off with an 8.1 rating and even climbing to 8.6 later on, which has also boosted the ratings for the first season. Recently, air shows like The Rise of Ning and Kill Me Love Me have had mixed reviews. Some people are totally hooked, while others have robbed them. The Strand House of Tang Dynasty has consistently received great reviews across the board. Strand House of Tang Dynasty has a strong suspense buy, with Thai logical reasoning that doesn't dumb things down. Plus, the production team really pays attention to restoring the costume of the Tang Dynasty, and the filming quality is top notch. The two male leads deliver solid performances as well. Ingeniously, a great show. It tells the story of Lu Ling Feng, a cute martial arts, and Xu Wu Ming, a direct disciple of Ti Wong, who go from being at odds to forming a mutual respect as they team up to solve mysterious cases.